Hey everyone, it's Ryan here with my final True Achievements review for the years of my gaming progress for achievements and game score. Uh, so this one's 2016, I'm not doing 2017 because I've already done that, and obviously 2018 is not over yet. Uh, so this one, based on my statistics, is going to be just like the last one, there's going to be a lot of talking, so if I do mumble I do apologise, it's sort of what happens if I get into talking a lot. But, uh, for this year, for 2016, I got 2,159 achievements, and I got 51,775 game score. I really started pushing myself towards that last month when I figured I was close to that. Uh, so, the best month was definitely uh, December, because um, I got like about 13,720 oh, 13, achievements game score. For some reason, it won't tell me actual game score, which would be nicer instead, but eh. Like you can only get so much, I guess. But uh, we're going to go through all the games that I pretty much completed or got at least God knows how much in. Um, so, uh, The Escapist, I got 34 achievements worth 2,000 game score. Um, Outlast, I got 11 achievements worth 1,000 game score. Borderlands, a pre sequel, 62 achievements worth 1,355 game score. I've only got one achievement left on that, but I need four people to play it. Uh, Borderlands 2, I've got 65 achievements worth 1,565 game score. Sunset Overdrive, 54 achievements worth 1,140 game score. Resident Evil 2 Revelations, 25 achievements worth 1,000 game score. I need to go back and finish that at some point, actually. Um, Sleeping Dogs Definitive Edition, again, it's just the Xbox One version, 59 achievements worth 1,000 game score. Uh, MX vs ATV Reflex, uh, 40 achievements worth 800 game score. Sanctuary 4, uh, this time on the Xbox one. Uh, I got 70, I think this one was called the President Edition or something like that. Uh, like the Presidential Edition. Uh, I got 70 game score worth 1,200, no, sorry, 70 achievements worth 1,200 game score. Uh, Forza Motorsport 2, uh, that was one of the games I started, like I played when I first started. I only had like two achievements and I thought I'd go back to it. Uh, I got 33 achievements worth 895 game score. Cars 2, I got 50 achievements worth 1,000 game score. Uh, Legend of Korra, uh, 30 tunes for 1000 game score. I'm pretty sure I did it on the 360 as well at some point. Uh, Frozen Freefall, Snowball Fight, which was like Frozen version of Bejeweled, because it was on the Xbox One and free, because why not? Uh, 13 tunes for 700 game score. Octodad, Dadly as Catch, 29 tunes for 1000 game score. Far Cry 4, 56 tunes for 1230 game score. Again, I need one more achievement on that, I require a co op partner for. Uh, Grid 2, 35 achievements worth 685 game score. Dead Rising 3, 69 achievements worth 1055 game score. Saints Row, Get Out of Hell, 44 achievements worth 980 game score. Uh, F1 2016, 45 achievements worth 895 game score. Stick South Park Stick of Truth on 360, 50 achievements worth 1000 game score. Uh, Legend of Korra again for 1000. FIFA 17, 38 achievements worth 830 game score. Uh, Shark Holmes, Crimes and Punishment, 25 achievements worth 1000 game score. Murdered Soul Suspect, 48 tunes for 1,000 game score. Pretty sure I did it on 360 as well. Uh, Batman Arkham Knight, 66 achievements worth 985 game score. Century Get Out of Hell, this time on 360, 42 achievements worth 910 game score. Wolfenstein The New Order, 47 achievements worth 880 game score. Dying Light, 42 achievements worth 840 game score. Murdered Soul Suspect, full 48 achievements worth 1,000 game score for 360. Uh, Coffin Dodgers, 22 achievements worth 1,000 game score. NBA 2K17, the Prelude, Prelude, whatever, 10 achievements worth 1,000 game score. Cars on the Xbox 360, 15 achievements worth 1,000 game score. Rise Son of Rome, 36 achievements worth 805 game score. Rocket League, 37 achievements worth 770 game score. Dead Space, 45 achievements worth 800 game score. Costume Quest 2, 18 achievements worth 1,000 game score. Uh, Wolfenstein, the Old Blood, 35 achievements worth 700 game score. Uh, Escape Dead Island, 40 achievements worth 695 game score. Just going to slowly go through which one I've pretty much got the majority in, I guess. Um, or any that I completed at that time. A lot uh, a lot of more of just games that I played in the year before that I was just mostly finishing off. Uh, nothing as of note just yet. Uh, oh, Game of Thrones, 8 achievements worth 200 game score. I think just the first episode was out then. Batman and Telltale series, season 1, episode 1 for both of them, 6 achievements and 200 game score. Uh, I think that will be it for now. I'm just going to scroll through see if anything else pops up. I don't think it will. There's there's literally a ton of games here. I'm going to leave the link in the description just so you can go over it anytime you want. Um, I think 
I had quite a few good achievement streaks in this. Uh, 7th of January to the 20th, I had 13 days of 119 achievements. Uh, a lot of them was I just missed a day out. So the 7th to the 20th was the achievement streak, the 21st to the 29th was the achievement streak, the 30th to the 14th was the achievement streak. Uh, I think the only reason I didn't get an achievement the final day was because I went to go watch Deadpool that day. Uh, but I got 134 achievements in 15 days to the 30th of January to the 14th of February. Uh, best ones probably 17th of February to the 11th of March was 23 days and 244 achievements. I think it's my second or third best one, but it's my best ratio of achievements. Um, yeah, uh, quite a busy year, as you can tell. Uh, highest achievements, uh, there's going to be quite a lot again. Um, Energizer in Outlast finished the game in the same mode without reloading camera batteries. Lunatic finished the game in the same mode with 150 game score, did that at the same time. Fizzy says April Fools in Sunset Overdrive, haha, <laughs> I can't believe you fell for that. Uh, it's worth 199 game score. Uh, the Escapist the successfully escaped from all six prisons worth 150 game score. Duh, worth, uh, find all, <laughs> worth 175 game score, find all 12 Ainsley's drawings scribbled on city walls. Master Craftsman worth 100 game score, crafted all the items available in the game, that's in the Escapist. Pulitzer completed, uh, collected all documents and completed all records worth 125 game score and Outlast. Outlast again, claustrophobe 150 game score, finished the game without hiding under a bed or in a locker. Essentially, you can get all the achievements in one if you know exactly what you're doing. The only ones you can't get are the insane ones, because you have to finish the game first, and then you unlock an insane mode. Uh, which means if you die, you go back to the beginning. Um, understanding worth 140 game score, earn at least one bronze medal in all drills inside a skills trainer. Total matches 50 worth 100 game score, complete 50 for snowball fights, and some frozen free ball. Great for, you know, the greatest of all time, place first in all events in the Moto career worth 100 game score in MX versus ATV Reflex, I believe that is. Yes, it is. Um, only good guys with medals for 100 games score get all medals in episode 1. That's for Resident Evil Revolutions 2. Soldiers of Fortune with 150 game score. Escape Team of Escape. That's a new escapist. Uh, you rocked in Grid 2. You finished first in every career event during session play and or by the timeline. Uh, double Hockey 6 with 200 game score. Conquered all of the new Hades with 100% City Takeover. That's in Sator of Cat of Hell. Uh, I finally got the Treasure Hunter achievement in Final Fantasy 13. Finally got that out of the way, thank God. Uh, that was a pain in the ass. I had to go over the game again because I missed like one or two. Uh, held every weapon and accessory. Uh, Foxes of the Hounds worth 100 game score. Complete Deus Ex Human Revolution without setting up any alarms. And Favor Fave, Complete 100 Favors in The Escapist. So yeah, quite a hectic year that was. But I was quite happy with myself. I think in 2017 I did slightly better. Um, I'll have to have a look. Yeah, I got 54,000 in... 2017, so I was quite happy with that. But yeah, uh, actually, it's out very busy past few years. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll show. Hopefully, see you in the next one.